Hi guys, it's Dr. Botox here and I'm coming to you live from downtown Beverly Hills and basically before we get into some skincare stuff, I just wanted to address something today. Um, everyone's so cute. I think Andy Cohen did an interview with Stellar Magazine back in Dublin and he mentioned, he said something like there's going to be Real Housewives of Ireland, maybe, maybe, and his executive producer is Irish. Um, so here's the deal. The Real Housewives of Dublin, Ireland, it has been done already and it's my fucking show. It was always going to be my show. It's always going to be my show. Uh, who am I? I'm Dr. Fucking Botox. So even when I went on and did Celebrity Big Brother and I was away and the other four of my co-stars, or as I like to call them, my supporting cast, were doing all the rounds of the TV interviews, even then all they would do was talk about me because it's my fucking show. So there's not going to be any Real Housewives of Ireland without me. I've now relocated to Beverly Hills. I have all my skincare brands. Uh, I also do a huge amount of stand-up comedy. And so basically, um, yeah, I'm not available in Ireland to do... The Real Housewives again and I live in Beverly Hills coming to you live from downtown Beverly Hills we're about to actually re record my podcast Diary of Botox Bitch and just to let you know yeah bitches that show The Real Housewives of Ireland is my fucking show no one else is going to get to do it it's my fucking show it was always my show and it's always going to forever be my show okay so yeah I don't, I don't know what that is that is false information. The other thing that was really funny is when we first did it, we shot all the opening sequences in dresses and dancing like I'm the only world, girl in the world and whatnot. And actually Bravo in America were like th -th 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 sending emails to Steve and Straywave who produced the show for TV3 Virgin Media. And so I find it really funny, or I find it odd or just perturbing actually. Obviously they always told us, like I was always afraid that Andy Cohen would be mad at me because I did the show for three seasons. I did for all seasons. The show stopped when I left. But I did the show and I thought he would be mad at me because I thought, because I didn't actually know it wasn't affiliated. We thought for the first two seasons it was the American show with American producers overseeing things. So we were also led down a garden path. But I was always afraid, thinking, oh my gosh. And it's funny, I was there at BravoCon on Friday because I was there just to meet um, people who run the Jimmy Kimmel uh, comedy uh, venue and so I was there and actually one of the producers of the shows of actually I'm not going to say but one of the producers snuck me in the back door and I was just I was there for about two or three hours and Andy came out on stage and I was like he's kind of hot like I know I know guys but he's there's something about him anyway and by the way he doesn't there's no point in tagging him or tagging me and tagging him and all the rest of it on TikTok because Andy doesn't use TikTok he doesn't go on TikTok so he won't see it but which is fine so we can say we've turned that question again man it's fine but I was always terrified that he would be mad at me if I ever met him or crossed paths because he would be like, you did that show and they didn't pay the license fee and, you know, I didn't know or whatever. So it's just interesting to see him talk about it. He obviously doesn't know there was a whole drama and that Bravo shut them down and stuff, which is rightfully so, because if they didn't pay the license agreement and it wasn't overseen, they can't, can't steal a franchise and decide to do a spin-off. And I know they called it the Real Housewives of Ireland and the Real Housewives of Dublin, Southside Dublin, Dublin Wives. The wives of Dublin, like D4 Dublin wives, like honestly, I don't even know what it's called. I was on the show all the seasons. Did I say I was the star of the show? And it's my fucking show. Yes. Okay, cool. So anyway, long story short, I'm in Beverly Hills. Just settled here, just relocated here. And I'm not going back to Ireland to do the Real Housewives of Ireland. And you can't do the fucking show without me. Okay, bitches. So here's the deal. Um, I have my three different skincare lines here. Dermaface MD, which is my, it's, there's, there's a social proof in that I've had that for 12 years. I'm dual qualified as a dentist as well. So the first brand I had was Derma Dental and then pivoted to Derma Face MD. Now here's the thing, I have a degree in aerospace engineering, it was my first degree that I did, I have boats, I've sailed across the Atlantic, I have a yacht masters, yes super high achiever, get over it, whatever, I'm not making apologies, that's what I love about America, no one's like, everyone's like walk in your glory and like oh my god you did this and they're just so positive and I love it so I don't hide any part of who I am anymore, um, except I do have, I did have a biopsy the other day on my forehead and I have a little patch covering it, I'm trying to keep myself busy while I wait for the biopsy results, if I'm being really honest, Ugh, I don't want to cry, but before I did Celebrity Big Brother, I had a thing removed from my forehead and I don't know how I even do the show. I was in hiding because you're in hiding for three days and I was in hiding and I was actually born in a surgical kit to take out my own sutures. Look at me, my, my cadence of my speech is racing since I'm still super stressed by the whole thing. And I had another one uh, taken off here in Cedar sinai just here in my immediate campus. And then, um, sorry, this is a new jacket they're fitting for me because I'm doing, I'm doing the comedy store, um, stand up comedy twice in the next two weeks and I, I've this in different colours for the show. Anyway, long story short, I'm waiting for my results of my biopsy and so I'm such, I'm just trying to distract myself to be honest with you. So um, I'm going to talk about my skincare brands in a moment because this is why I'm here. I, I want, 
I, I feel like America is just a bigger, better deal. There's 387 million people here who are genetically modified to make purchases. So I wanted to hit that market up. Also, um, so my clinics, most of my clinics in Dublin, in Ireland and in London, and um, it took some time out. Like I just chilled, chilled out. And well, actually did a lot of stand-up comedy. I wanted to do the stand-up comedy and get as good as I could get, as quickly as I could, but also it's a real long journey. So I, want, I sort of spent the last five years um, dipping in and out of that and then we have the pandemic yada yada that's boring let's not talk about that but I just want to say lies 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 uh, the Real Housewives of Ireland is not going to happen because it's my show and I'm not in Ireland to do it because I've settled so I've just got a green card and I'm here fully settled into Beverly Hills and I'm not going back uh, not to film my show anyway and so I have my skincare to sell. So this is the newest edition. Everyone was complaining about the price of Aerospace MD because it's $199 for the oxygenating moisturizer. Get over it. I spent loads of money on the products that are all made here. It is what it is. I can't, I can't, if you all buy it, we might be able to get it down $10, but it costs a fortune to make. The other product I have is my Dermaface MD. And this is the triple peptide eye cream. And then this is the Dermaface MD and this is the hyaluronic acid serum, which is a great product. Um, and then there is the, the Dollar Skin. I don't know if you can see this, which is my Calm Down Karen cleanser. So this is a cheaper entry point. This is probably more um, geared towards the millennials. I had, to, I had to laugh on The Real Housewives of Ireland when Jodas, who's Joe, who's my nemesis, um, she betrayed me, so I have her on my phone. It's Jodas. When Joe wanted to start up her makeup line with Lisa, they were making it a more affordable version of Mac. Obviously, I called it Muck. But Lisa was saying you need to have this and this and this to hit all the markets. That's not what you do with skincare. So if you take nothing away from anything, skincare, you know, you have the millennials, which is like 18 to 24 or whatever. So that's what the dollar skin is kind of aimed at. And then Dermaface MD is kind of 35 to 45. And then the Aerospace MD is like, again, 45, 55. But you have to hit different markets. But anyway, no one wants to hear about the analytics about skincare. So what I would say is this. Um, yeah, don't do reality TV unless you've got shit to sell. Because... It's a huge fucking crazy train wreck of a train ride. Um, I did like doing Real Housewives of Ireland a lot. I didn't enjoy doing Celebrity Big Brother. I thought that was a horrible experience, although I got paid well for it, so whatever. I do agree with Bethany Frankel in many ways that we should get residuals, for sure. But I also feel like the opportunity you get with your business, and if I hadn't done those shows, um, I wouldn't have been able to get a green card for exceptional talent in TV, albeit reality TV. Did a couple of sitcoms but they were mostly pilot and didn't make it a series. But again, like I think things opportunity gives and you're, you're always where you're meant to be in life. So I am here in Beverly Hills. I finally moved in, I settled in. I have my skincare brands, I have my LLC. Um, I'm waiting on biopsy results. I hope I don't have another squamous cell carcinoma or basal cell carcinoma, but if I do, I'll deal with it. But the point is, I'm not going back to Ireland and there's going to be no Real Housewives of Ireland without me because it's my show. It was always my show and it's always going to be my show. And if you're looking at this and going like, who am I? Dr. Fucking Botox. That's who I am. Um, my podcast, Diary of a Botox Bitch, and my book, Diary of a Botox Bitch, is coming out next year. So selling skincare, three different brands, also selling tickets to come and see me um, at the Comedy Store and to see me in the Ice House Pasadena, see me at the Comedy Store in La Jolla. I'll be at the Improv in January. Um, I'll be at JB Kimmel in Vegas. That's why I was in Vegas and then snuck in the back door. I couldn't believe it. It was so funny. I was at BravoCon just very, very briefly for 17 hours or so. And I just wanted a, a producer, not a comedy producer, like a reality TV producer, snuck me in. And it was just funny. I was there and I was like, and it's funny because nobody knows who I am over here. So it's kind of cool. Um, and so it was just, it was just interesting. It was a fun time. But again, just to reiterate, and I don't want, I don't want to have to come at this again. There's not going to be any Real Housewives of Ireland with Bravo or without Bravo. Because it's my show. It was always my show. It's always going to be my show. Ask Steve from Stay Stray Wave. Ask the editor. They were just like, give us more, Danielle. Give us more, Danielle. When it comes to reality TV, we all know if I want to press the button, I can blow it up. Um, my supporting cast, they're all back across the pond still. Probably in therapy. Whatever. Uh, Jodas was my nemesis, but my real nemesis was a girl called Vagina Macaroni. Sorry, my bad. Virginia Macari. She was a self-proclaimed heiress to an Irish restaurant chain. Please. They had like two burger trucks and a couple of fish and chip corner shops. Anyway, um, that's an interesting story. We talked about that on my podcast, the fact that her baby daddy is uh, on an extended away trip and then she's got engaged to somebody else and stuff. So I wish her well. And I don't like the comments saying that I didn't support her Miss V Bikini line because I every day would put on Miss V Bikini down in Malibu and in Quinta de Lago after I got off the golf course. So I don't know what that's about, to be honest with you. Anyway, skincare.